The north of England is somewhere I still very much class as my home, um, which is odd living in London for the past 18 years, but I just feel a much deep-rooted connection to there than I ever have here. It's somewhere that I'll always kind of have that, you know, kind of, what's that word? Kind of umbilical whiplash dragging me back. <laughs> Sunderland's a seaside town and I grew up in a place called Grangetown. I was actually born in a place called Hendon, which is where my mum grew up and my nana and granddad still live. You can see the sea from my house, but right by the sea there's kind of derelict and concrete warehouses and gas works and scaffolding and cranes and really kind of makes for a weird mix or juxtaposition of that kind of quite gritty sort of urban environment. You know, you can drive 30 seconds and you're in this sprawling countryside so it's kind of has that weird kind of intermingling of those two things I guess. For me the geography of Sunderland and being on the edge of the country, that idea of being on the edge of something really gives you a sense of perspective. It's something that I really miss when I live in London actually to have that expanse, that openness in front of you. It's a great analogy for a lot of things, you know the idea of possibility and the idea of freedom. Who I am and how I do things and how I approach things and just even a certain general mindset. It's definitely shaped me in that sense as a person. There's a very definite work ethic that comes from that area. It's about people coming together to do something just to get the job done, I guess. It has a real celebratory kind of quality to it rather than it being associated with a kind of dour post-industrial town. It's kind of a town with a lot of exciting people who are excited to be part of this thing. It's basically about people understanding or hoping that the best days of sun are still ahead of us. Because, you know, a, a lot of, like, especially my parents and my parents' parents talk about the good old days. Um, we don't build ships anymore, um, so we have to find something else to build.